This week, the Trump administration asked the Supreme Court to move quickly to decide on the president's efforts to end DACA, the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, that protects younger immigrants brought to the U.S. illegally. Amid the ongoing debate over illegal immigration, we sought some clarity from Congressman Henry Cuellar, a Democrat from the border state of Texas. We began by asking, who are the DACA children? Basically, those are young kids that got brought over uh, at a very young age. It depends, one year, two years, five years, uh, whatever the case might be. They were brought over by the parents. No fault of their own, they were brought here. They, they went to school here, they grew up here, so in many ways, except being born here, they're Americans in many ways. And as you know, the president, President Obama, back, I think it was in June of 2012, said all this uh, young kids that got over here, we are gonna give them some sort of uh, protection. Effective immediately, the Department of Homeland Security is taking steps to lift the shadow of deportation from these young people. And by protection, I'm saying without fear of uh, deportation, they can work, they can go to school. And many of them have been here for years and have become uh, good people that have uh, uh, provided for the United States. In fact, most of them, if I can say this, 95% of those young kids are working or going to school and they don't have a criminal record. Those are the type of people that we need to uh, bring into our society. Did that protect kids that at that point in time were already here, or did that go forward and continues to protect kids if their parents are illegal and bring them in? It was only up to uh, that, I uh, believe it was June of uh, 2012, uh, and they, ha they had to meet certain criteria. I believe right now uh, DACA might have about 693,000 as of right now. What's the difference between that and the Dreamers? Dreamers, again, the same, they're almost the same type of categories uh, that you're bringing in. You know, those are young kids that want to come in and then be part of our society, but they don't fall under the same type of uh, protection of the uh, DACA. When I was a, a Secretary of State, I was, uh, I'm a Democrat, I got appointed Secretary of State by Governor Rick Perry. I don't know if you know this, but Texas, as a very conservative state, actually passed one of the first dream uh, acts in the country, very conservative state. And it basically said that if you have one of those kids that doesn't have the papers, uh, as you know, under federal law, uh, a federal ca uh, court case, they can go to school, but they could not go to college because they would be considered to be out of state tuition. So we passed uh, one of the first dream act, uh, state version in the state of Texas. What is the difference, if you can explain in a sentence, between DREAMers and those protected under DACA? Well, you know, the, the DACA are the, are the folks that uh, are given, they can be given a job, uh, ability to go work, uh, can go, go to college, and they were brought in before June of 2012, and they were given that protection at that time under President Obama. As you know, uh, President Trump came in and took that uh, DACA protection pretty much away. Uh, should have gone off, I think, on March 5th of this year. But then we've had, I believe now, three court cases that have said, let's slow down a little bit on this. And whatever happens with the court cases, they are given uh, Congress an opportunity to do something on this. But as you know, when it comes to immigration or any tough issue, Congress is not the most uh, responsive uh, entity in the, in, the, in, the, in the world. So what did the DREAM Act do? Did it expand protections to those who were not covered by DACA? Is that the basic difference? Uh, yes, and, and as you know, we are trying to pass a, a, a DREAM. There's different types of, of, of versions out there. Some just want to maybe extend it for another three years, what uh, President Obama did. Uh, some want to give people the opportunity to become citizens in the U.S. So there's different versions out there. They may not want to take a tough vote. And, you know, that's what it is. And I'll say this. We're sent to Congress not to take the easy votes, but the hard votes. But unfortunately, uh, the way um, uh, leadership uh, takes some of these votes, they want to protect their members from taking the tough votes. But again, why are we sent up here? To take the easy votes? I don't think so. Complicating matters is the fact that not all of the foreigners allowed to stay under DACA or the DREAM Act are good people. DACA recipients have been charged with crimes in the U.S., including murder, child pornography, child molestation, and rape. 